So guys, and today we got the season star Melvin Gordon bruising back and ankle breaker chemistry, and I do have some of those chemistry ups, or oh, just the bruising back one only. 6'1", 93 speed, 94 agility, 92 ball carry, 94 juke, 85 truck, 91 carry, 92 excel, 93 elusiveness. Now his juke and his spin, they're both a 94, a pretty decent 89 stiff arm with the chemistry boost, and 85 truck, so not the best power back, obviously, and he does also have a 72 catch, which we'll talk more about later. Now his speed... It definitely is noticeable, but I'm a little surprised how often he got caught from behind. You know, you would have think, you know, I mean, you would think he would rarely get, get caught from behind. So he's he's not slow, but don't be surprised if he gets caught from behind. Now, something that was also surprising was the amount of tackles he broke on his own. Now, he's not top five or anything. I'm not trying to say that, but I did not expect expect him to break as many tackles as he did. So even though you definitely cannot really lean on that, you know, I definitely say take advantage of every broken tackle that he uh, offers you. Now I'm not sure why, but I was really nervous every time he took a hit stick because I really thought he was going to be, you know, or have a fumbling problem. Thankfully, that was not the case. He did take like seven hit sticks and like a few strip animations. He did fumble once, which is right here, but honestly, you know, eight hit sticks, a few strip animations, and only one fumble out of all those. To me, honestly, that's really not that bad of a percentage. Now, he only has 72 catch, and I've seen running backs with that same catch rating struggle with catching the ball, but Melvin Gordon did not, so should not be too much of a problem, hopefully, with your Melvin Gordon. And he has 89 stiff arm, which is pretty decent. He got a few, you know, nice animations, a few drags, but this play right here was ridiculous with the stiff arm. Look at this right here. First, he's going to break a tackle, then stiff arm, Bud Dupree, then stiff arm number 92. I have no idea who that is, but that was impressive. Running up the middle was always a good idea with Melvin Gordon, and... Not only did he break more tackles than I thought he would have, he also fell for a lot more often than I thought he would have. You know, I did not expect him to be a running back to break a lot of tackles and fall for it, but so many times when he would, he would, you know, fall for for an extra two or three yards or break tackles. So running up the middle, man, always a good option. Trucking, not so much. I did say stiff arming was pretty decent, and it was. Trucking was not. It. Every time I tried to truck, I was punished with a hit stick. Now his 94 spin was very nice and his juke and spin they're both a 94 so you would assume that they would both be you know equal in my opinion from what I could see not the case now they're very close in terms of how good they are but I would say the spin was second best but even so that does not mean that you cannot succeed with it I mean come on look at this he was getting nice animations you know spinning past people whether he was getting the animations or just spinning past them in general or even stuff like that I wish I was on the other side of that play right there I would have got more yards instead of going out of bounds but I did like his spin move overall as far as the bad plays and the struggle points I would say like I said before don't try to truck with him man you were just asking for a hit stick everything else is good but don't truck and of course I'm sure most of you guys uh, figured it out by now the number one thing he did was juking man I loved his juke man no matter what type of juke it was and look at this play right here this play right here sold it for me this was ridiculous man look at this bam bam that was crazy I have no idea how I did that I wish I knew how I did that I would lab it for days but the best way to use Gordon like any other running back man is, t is to uh, combine all of his skills and for those of you who are wondering what the hell that means this right here check it out catch the ball spin pass break a tackle hit the sideline Use that speed, juke pass, fall forward. That's how you combine all the skills in one play. So that's going to wrap this up, guys. And he goes for like 200K. If he was going for like maybe one, uh, maybe 130, 140, I would definitely be keeping him. But 200K, I think, is just too much. There are a few other running backs who are agile just like him that go for a bit less. So if you got the coins and you just really, really want to play with him, go for it. You know, it's not like a terrible, ridiculous price, but... I think that he would definitely be worth more like 140, 150, somewhere in that range. But anyways, guys, that's going to wrap this up. And my next review is going to be the uh, Bob Sanders, the uh, playoff card, or Super Bowl card, I'm sorry. And on offense, I'm not sure yet who my next offensive card will be. Oh, no, yeah, it's going to be Sterling Sharp, the ultimate legend. But anyways, guys, I'll see you boys later, man. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you boys later, man. Peace.